and welcome back to the Everyday Joy Podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you today. I've been having the best time talking to Tilly all week long, and I cannot wait for you to hear today's episode. So grab your cup of tea, grab your cup of coffee, maybe you're going for a run, put your headphones on, and let's get ready to dive into today's Words to Live By. Jesus said, if someone takes unfair advantage of you, use the occasion to practice the servant life. No more tit for tat stuff. Live generously. You can find that in Luke uh, 6 verse 30. Tilly, it is so good to have you back on the podcast. How fun. Today's episode. Oh, it's an interesting one. Are we ready to live out the servant life? Are we ready to not want things in return when we I give it out. I love that the message <laughs> paraphrase says, oh, no more tip for tat stuff. No more like tip he just for like tat. calls it out for what it is. Like, totally. Is generously. Totally. We were kind of mentioning before we started recording mm. that we really feel like we live in a world where it is tip for tat. It's so It is give tat. and take. There yeah. is no give because I want to give. It is I'm going to give because what can I get out of this? 100%. And that's the culture we live in, to be yeah. totally honest. And look, There are moments where it's not that. But everything that I see on like Instagram, TikTok, it's all this thing of like, what can you do for me? If you're not going to benefit me, I'm not going to waste my time. Yeah, 100%. I watched this like, okay, confession. I love maths. (laughs) The drama. I love the drama of it. And I have kind of roped in my husband and he he puts up with it. Like, I don't think he admits it, but I do think he he enjoys the drama as well. But this, I feel like you see everywhere in that show. Like yeah. relationships, marriage, oh my goodness. Like these people are unable to just be kind for the sake of being kind. It's very much, well, sh- he treated me this way, so I'm going to treat him this way. And well, she It's not that, a good example so of just, like relationships oh, It's an awful at example because like, that's not how a marriage works. You can't be tit for tat with you and your husband. Mm. You have to live generously and be committed to serving each other, even if your spouse isn't like, it doesn't matter. You yeah. have an obligation to serve your spouse. I know. When we when I read this verse, it just makes me think, where, where it kind of says, if someone takes unfair advantage of you, use the occasion to practice, sorry, use the occasion to practice the servant life. And like you said, that's exactly what a marriage is. That's what a relationship is. It's yeah. going, I'm going to serve you even when... I'm upset even when I don't understand, even when it's difficult. And I think that I've just noticed that this doesn't happen in our day-to-day often at all. Mm. And, you know, I think what it shows us about the Lord is that he wants us to live generously. He wants us to live in a way that is honoring, seeking out ways to celebrate other people, seeking out ways to serve others. And... I just, it always makes me laugh when I read these things. It's like, it's like, wow, it's like God created us and it's like God knows the silly things we're going to do. It's like he knows that we're going to expect things in return. It's like he knows that we're going to be disappointed when we pour our heart out and someone doesn't do it back to us. Like, of course, it's human nature. Exactly. But it, he just goes, practice the servant life. Practice mm-hmm. the idea of serving someone even when you don't want to and there's a proverb that says like the world of degenerates gets larger and larger yeah the world of the stingy gets smaller and smaller and i feel like that can be both taken financially and in relationships Mm. like when you are generous with your friendships your world does enlarge totally like you are blessed with friendships and the body of christ through that yeah well like what do you think this verse tells us about who jesus is he is just unconditional i think that his love it isn't based there's no like it's not like this requirement of we need to be perfectly serving him in order for him to love us he knows that we are full of faults Mm. he knows that we are imperfect he just wants our surrendered hearts and he will feel that yeah like he's not going to only give us as much love as we give him because his love will always be more sufficient and override anything that we can do for him Mm. hands down as you were saying that it just made me think about like is it not who God is? Yeah. Right? Like, exactly. the Lord loves us so generously <laughs> when we don't deserve it, don't deserve when it. we don't give it back to Him, yeah. when we don't he spend loved time us with Him. Still sinners. Totally. He sa- he's literally just showing us how He lives. Mm. He, he goes, I'm going to show you unconditional love. I'm going to outpour 
generous love to you, even if you don't receive it, even if you don't accept it, even if you turn your back on it, I will still love you. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah, because that's not how we live. No. We're not used to that. (laughs) We are used to... All right, I'll do this for you. With Scratch your back, scratch my back. Yeah. And I honestly think often it's unintentional. Mm. I think that we go, no, 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 I'm doing this because I'm generous and because I love you. But deep down you go, it's fine. They'll, they'll, they'll help me out another time. They'll do this at another time. And it made me think about a time in my life where, man, I really had to learn this. I felt like I poured my heart out into a friendship and... You know, I just, I was one of those scenarios where I felt like I did everything I could. I felt like I served them well. I felt like I was generous with my time, with my resource, with my talents. Like I literally feel like, and I don't know why, but for some reason in this relationship, I felt it real deeply. You know, there are other times where I've served friends and I've been like, yeah, 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 whatever. But I think in this, it was such a sacrifice. It wasn't an easy thing. Like I went out of my way. I sacrificed my time, my, my scenario to serve this, this yeah. person. And man, I struggled with it. But at the time I was like, it's so fine. I will do whatever it takes to make this person happy. I will do whatever it takes to help them out. And I, and I maybe at the time was kind of like, it's because I'm, I, I want to serve them. But I think in the back of my mind, I was going, it's fine because when it comes to a time where I need support and I need help, they'll be there. They'll do it all. They'll pay it back. They'll, they'll reflect what I've done when, yeah. when I'm in that season. And, and I think for me, what was really hard is that didn't happen. Mm, that is hard. And... And I didn't get that back. And my expectation was that I would. And I think that that makes relationships harder and friendships harder when they, yeah. when you have an expectation and it's not fulfilled. But that's uncommunicated. They're unaware of that. Mm. You have just had this expectation of this tit for tat, this, yeah. this, this thing of being like, well, I did it for you, so of course you would do it for me. Mm. And I really had this moment where I was like, okay, if that's not going to happen, am I okay with that? Yeah. Like, is that something that I will be okay with? Yeah. And even just thinking, like, imagine if we lived in a world, though, where everybody focused on this scripture and lived like that. Mm. We wouldn't be dealing with the heartache of someone not, um, I guess, meeting us in our needs because we would be so focused on loving each other, not expecting anything in return. Totally. Like, obviously, we're never going to reach that fulfillment here on Earth. Yeah. But imagine... Imagine if we did. Imagine if friendships totally. and marriages worked that way. Yeah. And when we were when we were looking at this, a couple of verses later in uh, Luke 6, verse 34, it says, If you lend to those for whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back to the same amount. But love your enemies and do good and lend, expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great. Oh. Isn't it crazy? Like... It's so funny how many principles and how much instruction God gives us about <laughs> life things that you don't even know. Like, yeah. I'm sure people, there are people listening today who goes, oh, wow, I had no idea that God gives us instruction about how to lend, how to be generous, how to give things to people in a godly way. And, you know, I think out of today's episode, it's kind of this thing of us going, okay, are we going to learn to give generously and expect nothing in return? Yeah, which is hard. Which is hard. So hard. But I think that... Once we are aware of it, once we know that's like kind of what what God's asked us to do, it's like, okay, let's live generous lives without expectation. Yeah. And it's and it doesn't even mean we have to mortgage our house and give No 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 no. Dollars. Like please be wise. <laughs> <laughs> please be wise. Because that's the thing, like how today can we go out of our way to show generosity? Mm. Like to our neighbours. It can just be simply picking flowers from your garden and just wanting to bless someone because you just want to bless someone. Yeah. And I think that that's our action from today, hey? Our action is live generously this week. That doesn't have to be finances. That doesn't have to be anything crazy. Pick one thing. Like you said, whether it's getting some flowers, whether it's calling someone, whether it's making a meal. Like, I think that so often we feel like our walk with the Lord is so internal 
But I think what this verse ultimately saying is let's let our lives and our walk with Christ be an external picture of it. What can we do this week to live out generosity and expect nothing in return? I know that as people listen today and as you go out into your week, either this weekend or over next week, that as you do those generous acts, as you do those generous things, not only will you feel so satisfied expecting nothing in return, but you will bless people so abundantly and deeply and they will get to encounter the love of Jesus through all you do. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Everyday Joy podcast. We cannot wait to chat even more with you tomorrow. But until then, I pray you're able to find moments of joy. 